to merge your two cities, you and Bay St. Louis? The uh, mayor's we not have, here to defend We have himself. always, uh, he, Eddie doesn't need defending. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, uh, he's, a, he's a dear friend. And we, um, we have been for the last uh, 10 years merging the, uh, the resources and the, the departments that were obviously uh, in, in everybody's best interest. And we're going to continue to do that. We've done that in, uh, in communications. We've done that in uh, some of our police uh, uh, agencies. There are, we've done that with solid waste. We've done that with wastewater. And, and, and it's nothing new. There's always going to be a city of Waveland. We were founded in 1887. There's always going to be a city of Bay St. Louis. Uh, there's not going to be a bay land. There's not going to be a bay be a land or a bay wave. Or, but, but the governor, Brian, believes that the, the consolidation of a lot of the resources is vital down here, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and we saw that two days ago when the governor signed here in Gulfport the uh, water wastewater bill that uh, Randall Patterson helped, helped uh, usher through the House and, and, the, and our friends in the Senate. And, and I think we'll look back in 10 years and, and perhaps sooner than that and see that a countywide, at least, a countywide approach and, and in some respects a regional approach to water and wastewater and stormwater and solid waste in the six county area will truly transform uh, the area not only on economic development standpoint but for the health and safety of the residents who live there. E everyone deserves to have safe drinking water, sanitary sewer systems, not just those that live in a city who have uh, that infrastructure, but everyone, and that's what's going to bring uh, the new development here that we, we want. That had to be one of the really important uh, things that came out of this legislative session, well, right, Representative? Uh, I wasn't on the committee that actually made the decision, but I went to all the meetings. I wasn't a committee, to, uh, I wasn't picked by uh, the speaker to sit on that committee, but I went to every meeting, and uh, Jamie Franks from North Mississippi, he was the chairman, and he made sure all the coast delegation was invited to every sit down that they had and they met and at the beginning some of the municipalities had problems and then the, the we wanted to make sure that the local entities were happy with the with the outcome of the uh, finished product and then the supervisors had some questions and they just kept meeting and critiquing the plan until we finally got something we think everybody can live with is the plan going to work further down the coast further to the east do you like the idea can you I, get I together think, I, I think very much it's going to work uh, there's 600 million dollars that's going to be made available um, uh, in Jackson County, our wastewater authority um, was tremendously impacted as a result of the storm. Um, and I think you're going to see more development in more rural areas uh, throughout all of our coastal counties as a result of this. And so I think it's, it's going to be a wonderful opportunity to, for additional investment. There are still some areas down here that are still having to boil their water, right? Are, are you all waters okay in your towns? Yeah. But some, some of the smaller communities are still still having problems getting up. It's got to be really tough for them. Connie, what, what about your city? What do you think? Well, um, I'm very pleased with the legislation, and I appreciate the efforts of Representative Franks and, and the delegations. Um, there's also $400 million that's available to the municipalities to rehabilitate their existing older water and wastewater systems. And that's key for us, and I'm sure it is for other municipalities as well. And the $600 million is not only for the unincorporated areas, but also to expand new water and wastewater uh, systems within the municipalities. But I think it makes sense to work on a regional basis, especially for things like stormwater management and relocation of wastewater treatment plants. We'd surely, surely like to get those up north and out of harm's way of storms. How many